President Putin should be, and can be, no doubt, that the international community is a united against his actions. It remains strong and will not back down. As well as providing direct military support to Ukraine, we continue to bolster our contribution towards NATO's collective security. NATO defence ministers will gather next week in Brussels to discuss the next steps. Few of us, Mr Speaker, will not have been moved by President Zelensky's speech yesterday. His people are fighting for their very survival. His country is united against the aggression, and it is indeed his country's darkest hour. President Putin and the other and the Kremlin continue to threaten countries who offer help to Ukraine. Their military campaign will, I am afraid, get more brutal and more indiscriminate. But, Mr Speaker, it is my firm belief that our strength to stand up to such bullying comes from our alliances. As long as we stand united, both as a House and as the international community, then the Kremlin's threats cannot hurt us.